are so good. You are wonderful. I welcome your presence. I welcome you in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh Lord, my Father, you are a glorious God. Thank you, Heavenly Father. God, my Father, I thank you. Lord God Almighty, King of glory, King of kings, you are powerful. There is no one like you, Lord. We give glory and honor in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you. We magnify to you. We give you all the glory and the honor in Jesus' name. My God and my Father, I want to thank you. I give you the glory. I give you all the honor, God. You are wonderful. You are a great God. This morning, tonight, this hour, Lord, we welcome you. We call upon your presence. You are wonderful. You are a mighty God. Thank you, Heavenly Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you. Lord, I call upon you. I call upon your, your presence. I welcome you in the mighty name of Jesus. Welcome, Holy Spirit. Welcome, Jesus. Welcome. I breathe the blood of Jesus over this prayer in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. I want to welcome everyone. Thank you for coming. Thank you for joining. God bless you. This is your host, Bishop Prophetess Dr. Christine City. Welcome you from Overcomers Deliverance and Healing Ministry, Brampton, Ontario, Canada. Welcome once again. Uh, before we go, we will take our communion, and then from there we will go to the topic. We we'll go to pray. Today I have a special message. I have a special topic that we've been ignored for a long time. But through the grace of God, we are going to pray. And God will help us in Jesus' name. Let us grab the, 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 the wine, which is the symbol of the, of, of the blood of Jesus, and the bread, the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. God, you are so good. I know this testimony over this. And uh, when we do this, we are declaring victory. This is the blood. This is the, the bread, which is the symbol of the blood of Jesus. This is the wine, which is the blood of Jesus. Let us look in the scripture before we drink and eat. The Bible says, Jesus said to them, Verily, truly, I said, Verily, Jesus said to them, Verily, truly, I tell you, unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you have no life in you. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my, my blood has eternal life, and I will raise him up at the last day. This is Jesus saying, we have to eat his, 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 we have to eat his body and drink his blood. And, and, and again, the Bible says in Matthew 26, 26, Matthew chapter 26, verse 26 to 28, the Bible says, as, and as they were eating, Jesus took bread, blessed it, and break it, and gave it to them. And they gave it to, to, to the disciples and said, Take, eat it, this is my body. Then he took the cup and gave thanks and gave it to them, saying, Drink from it, all of you, for this is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for many of the remission of sins. Jesus was eating with his disciples. And then when he was eating with his disciples, he decided to do a mysterious, a unique, something unique. He, he took the bread. You know, people will eat bread on the table, but this time, as they were eating, they, as they were eating, Jesus took bread. Jesus took bread, bless it. Father, in the name of Jesus, I bless this bread in the name of Jesus Christ. And then he broke it like this. He gave it to the his disciples. You can broke it into pieces, pieces, pieces to give the to give to share. If you are a man in the house, just break little, little to share. When he shared with with this with his disciples, he told them. He, he broke it and gave it to them to his disciples and said, 
take it, eat it. Eat, this is my body. And as he took the cup and give thanks and and, and and he give thanks, hallelujah, press the name. He give thanks, he, and he give thanks, and he give, hallelujah, thank you. He, he took the cup and uh, give thanks and uh, give it to them, saying, drink from it, all of you, for this is my blood of the new covenant, which is the shed of many for the remission of sins. You know, he was taking the blood and uh, give it to them. He gave them. He gave them the blood. He gave them the, the he gave them everything he was giving them. He was praying and giving them and he told them, eat it, drink it. Now eat the body of Jesus. And let us drink together. Oh God, my father, God of Abraham, God of Isaac, God of Jacob, you are a God who never failed. You are the same today and forever. As we have eaten and, and drink your blood, as we have eaten your body and drink your blood, God, my father, take away every sickness. Take away any, anything that has been planted in our, our, our body. Take every evil plantation. Take away every evil dreams. Take away every attachment of the enemy. Take away every powers of darkness in the mighty name of Jesus. Sickness and the diseases will not locate us in Jesus' name. Flush it out. Remove it out in Jesus' name. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus Christ, my God and my Father, as we have taken your body and drink your blood, Lord, your blood is so powerful. Your blood is medis medication. Your body, Jesus, is food to build our body and neutralize our body in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, my Father, as we drink your blood, let your blood become vitamin. Let your blood become, you, be, be, become medication. Uh, let your blood, Lord, become demon grassing blood in the mighty name of Jesus. My Father and my God, I thank you. I thank you for your body. I thank you for your blood in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. Now, I'm going to talk to you. The subject is... Thank you, Jesus. Lord, you are so good. Prayer over photos and properties from witchcraft altar. Prayer over photos and property from witchcraft altar. You know, we, we have photos. Our pictures are all over. They are either in the internet, in the Facebook, or they are in Instagram, or they are somewhere. Or you've been asking to give a photo. You have been asking by the government or by anybody, especially when you are doing, uh, you are traveling, you need your passport, or you need identity identity card, you need identification, so they need the photo. Our photos, at least, if you, if you are a human being, your photo is somewhere. Not in all, all the photos that they are taking, people, not all of them who are innocent. Some of them, they are wicked and evil, and they are ethnic. We have satanic people, we have witchcraft people, who work in those fields. And their sign is to see how to manipulate the photos of people and take their star and take their lucky and take their, 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 their blessings. You might be shocked. You might be thinking uh, think that uh, even if you don't use your photo, even WhatsApp or Facebook or wherever you are hiding your photos, your photo is somewhere. Is somewhere and some and and even the wicked these witches they can take your photo even when you are sleeping even when you are walking wherever they want a photo they will get so it is that's why we need to pray over our photo and 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 our property you know ah, hallelujah thank you jesus lord you are so good 
Do you know witchcraft powers can take a person's picture and destroy their glory? Do you know, do you also know that witches and wizards can make an, an, an evil degree on a picture and they will be instant manifestation? Having a feeling that you, your whole time picture is missing can be a warning sign of witchcraft manipulations. You know, I have, I have some, I don't know, my friends in Facebook or wherever, they follow me because I have so many and don't know who, who are they are. I have three, three, three pages here on, on Facebook, uh, five. Uh, from Overcomers, Deliverance, my personal, whatever, I have almost five pages in, in, in Facebook. Now there's wicked people every time. When I post a pictures or I post anything, they would, they would spend time and chant, speak over my photos, putting a lot of curses, putting a lot of curses, putting a curses, praying against it, chanting and chanting and spending time, even one hour, two, two hours, speaking against it. Now, I feel it, and then I reverse it. I pray because already I pray them, I sanctify my photos, I soak my photo in the blood of Jesus. No wicked, no evil will pray against my photos. I remove them from the altars of witchcraft from their coven in Jesus' name. So my photos, they chant, they chant, but they cannot provide, it cannot, nothing will happen. So I'm not afraid, I can't fear not to use my photos or to, to, to show what God is doing. So now, uh, there, there, are, there are some people who they can, they can chant and speak in the, in the photos and then they will use that photos to put a curse or to do something against you in the photo and something will manifest instantly and something will happen to the person. Just your photo, when they look at your photo like this. And then there's another way they call your name. After calling your name, chanting your name, messaging your photos, looking at your photo, your picture and chanting and chanting and chanting. And then you will appear. When you appear, they kneel you, they put a nail kappa. When they put they kneel your photo on the tree. Now your life will be will be terrible. When you find your photo in your witchcraft all that he or she they he will he will try to, to tie you down in the spirit or restricted or restrict you uh, in the spiritually. The best way to attack those powers can be through prayers. I am praying for you in the mighty name of Jesus. Anything that belongs to you or representing you on the witchcraft altar, your properties, your photo, your pictures, your clothes, your money, your, your name, and any part of your body, fingernails, or your hair, in the hair, on the earth underneath, the earth on, on waters, above or under it, in the river, sand, seas, at the graveyards, road injection, before idols, in the covens, or satanic temple, be destroyed by the Holy Ghost fire in Jesus' name, in the mighty name of Jesus. You know, wicked people, they are so, so, so wicked. They can use photos, not only photos, they will get something from your body, a part of your body, as a point of contact to a, they are wicked. Uh, I was, some some people who were coming to see me and then one of the, the helper who, is the help, who was helping my daughter, I, I noticed that this girl, she's not, a, she, something is not, she's not, she's not normal, something is wrong with her. And then she came where I was sleeping and uh, I was, I, I was, I washed my hair, I combed my hair very well. And then I left some some air in the in the in the comb. You know, I was going to clean the comb, but she came there and she picked it and put it inside her purse. Now I I saw it, but she didn't see that I have seen what she was doing. And then I, I, I just kept quiet for a few hours. And then I said I told her, uh, so and so come. I know that you 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 help me to clean my comb. But I would love to give me that uh, hair for me to go and and and, uh, and throw it, throw myself. I thank you for cleaning my 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 mess. And then she was shocked. She was so shocked. After she was shocked, 
In fact, she disappeared. She ran away. She just leave the work and ran away. Even without that, we didn't know. We didn't notice. She ran away. She went like she's, she's leaving. She went like that because she 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 scared. She feared. How did I know? She thought that I didn't see. Yeah. You know they can take your hair. They can take your nail uh, fingernail. They can take anything to manipulate you, to control you, to witch you. They take your property. And, and anywhere you have your property, some people, they have property, but it doesn't make money. Your property does not make money. You have plenty of uh, property all over. So you, you wonder why everything is not working for you. What's wrong? Because they have taken your property. They take the soil. They soil from your property to their coven, to their witchcraft altar. So we will pray that God will remove them in Jesus' name. These things happen. If it doesn't happen, that's fine. But some people, it is happening. It is happening right now. They take it and they go to put in their altar. When they put in their altar, the property will be wasted. You have the property. Even if you sell the, the cheapest way, sell, nobody is looking at your property. So, therefore, I pray by the power in the blood of Jesus, any, anything representing you and all your property in a satanic altar, in a satanic witchcraft, I command them to catch fire and burn to ashes in Jesus' name. In the mighty name of Jesus, when a person is under witchcraft power, he can make tremendous effect and expect to be great, but, great, but greatness will be far. We are going to look in the scripture from the book of Psalms 69, verse 23 to 28. The Bible says, from New Living Translation, the Bible says, let their eyes be, let their eyes go blind so that they cannot see and make their bodies shaken continually. Pour out your failures on them, consume them with your burning anger, let their homes become desolate, let their tents be desert. To the one you have punished, they add insults to injury, they add to the pain of those who have had piled their sins up high and do not let them go free. Erase their names from the book of the life, do not let them to count it among the righteous. You know, these are the wicked people. They are so evil and wicked. So the, 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 the prayer here is to pray that God will blind them. The monitoring, the one that is using your photos, using your pictures, what they are doing, wicked, not because you have done anything. It is because they know what you have. So they will try to use these photos, your property, to destroy you. But by the power in the blood of Jesus, you will see what the Bible said. This is the word of God. You can read that scripture on your own Bible and look at what the Bible says. It said, read their eyes. You, you command their eyes to go blind. Those who witchcraft attack, those monitoring you, watching you, looking you, uh, uh, anywhere you go, they are there. They, 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 they follow you. You can you, anywhere, anywhere in the world, even if you are in America, you are in Africa, they will see you. See you. you pray that God will blind them in the mighty name of Jesus. God will blind them in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, Lord, my Father, I thank you. You pray that this prayer, it is the prayer here. The Bible is, is, is praying here. The Bible says, let their eyes go blind so they cannot see and make their bodies shaken continually. You know, when the body is shaken like this, continually, continually, and they are blind, they can't see anything. They are finished, they are done. So we pray the, those prayers like that. Paul prayed for a, a man who was following them, he was a witch, a sorcerer. Paul commanded, their, commanded him to run, to, to run blind immediately. And the man became mad, become blind. So this is true. Even Elijah prayed that, uh, strike them with the blind. They, all of them, they were blind. So there is power. When we pray the prayers, those evil people, those witchcraft monitoring you, follow, follow you. When, some, when, you are going to, when, when you are going to do something good, they are there to monitor you and, and they are coming in the hand that they are want to help you. They are coming as a friend, friend. They are coming all they are using. They are just enemy, jealous. There are some people, they are following me in here in Periscope or YouTube. They are not, they, they just hate me so much 
but they still follow me and they comment bad stuff. They say, you, you see, I, they don't know me, I don't know them, but they are very angry. They don't want, and you wonder why, why they are, why they are following me. You see, such a people, if they, are, they are not innocent, they are wicked, they are evil, yes? And such a people, they will do anything to bring you down. They will do anything. They can take even the videos to cast the videos. They take even the videos, they, my image, they take to the evil. My picture, they have been taking to so many evil uh, casters to go and cast me. They have taken my videos, they have taken my name to witchcraft, to, 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 uh, to other prophets, to tell them, to ask them about me, to put a curse on me. They have done so wicked and evil. But because of this prayer, this one, when I pray like that, I pray that let their eyes to go blind and let and so that they cannot see and make their body be shaken in the mighty name of Jesus. These are the, these are the prayers I did not put here. This is the, the spiritual warfare prayer that you need to know how to pray the prayer against wicked people who are using your body, your parts, your 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 your, your point your point of contact, your photos, your your property, your clothes. Yeah, the clothes in Africa, those things. They are, they are there a lot. You, they, they will come and steal your, your clothes to, to take to the witchcraft, to, to manipulate you, to, to, to witch you. They take in here, here in Canada, America, they use another method. They can use your foot, palm, palm foot, or they can use the, the, the wheels where you, the, you back your car. They can come and get that soil on under the car, the wheel. They will take it and use it for evil. So, we can they know anything to get your point of contact to, to take to the, to the altars. But I pray by the power and the blood of Jesus, wherever using your photos, wherever using your property, using anything in, 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 from your body as a point of contact, let it go blind in Jesus' name. Yes, Lord, thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. When your picture is in the custody of the enemy, there will be high level of satanic attacks and the difficulties when your your picture is with your with your enemies everything will become so difficult and su success will be so far it is not always impossible for a person to know the person trying to manipulate him through his photograph to surprise you how wicked people are some laborers building house in the process of digging the ground they found pictures of a man Tied with the obvious pain and the, and the cowardly. Yes, when when I was building my house, the, the, those people were were digging the ground. You know, you have to dig the ground deep in Africa. We dig ground. We dig deep, deep, deep. Um, the foundation. We call it the foundation. When they were digging, they found some some charms, some photos, some hair. They found hair. Things that they were buried in that, that place where they were building. And then they were asked, they told me that we found some things. I said, okay, you burn them. Those are witchcraft. You, they are useless. They can't affect me. And I didn't know so much of deliverance like, like this, but God was with me and lead me. So I told them, I, I didn't even worry about them. I said, burn it, uh, burn it and break it and destroy it away. So they do that. They do that. And then people, some people, their life becomes so difficult. You cannot achieve anything. You don't have anything. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Many Christians are where, are where they are today because their pictures have been used for evil purpose. This, is, this picture manipulated evil. This picture manipulative powers are now everywhere. They are just there out of jealousy and envious to stop your to stop to stop your progress however if you discover that some some of your important pictures are missing it is therefore critical to start praying you have to start praying you have to start praying even you can lay your hand on your picture and declare and pray that in the name of Jesus Christ anywhere my picture is Anyone using my picture for evil, any powers of darkness using my pictures for evil, using my property, using my nail, my, my fingernail, using my hair, my God and my father, let them catch fire and burn to ashes 
I destroy them. It will not work for him. It will not stand in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, a person who is pictured with the devil will experience continually very marital delay, distress, discouragement, lack of helpers, and all because his property is with the enemies. He may be or she have continually accident, loss of income, loss of position, loss of reputation. Hallelujah, praise the name of Jesus. This attack is usually common in people who has chances of becoming great in life. The good, of, the good news is that the power of God will retrieve all your photographs from their data paste tonight in Jesus' name. The good news is that the God of heaven, the God who answers by fire, is so powerful. He's going to retrieve all your photos from their data paste tonight, 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 in the mighty name of Jesus. It is tragedy when the devil is using your pictures to, to, to bewitch you and divert your, your destiny. I pray that God will deliver you today in Jesus' name. Do you know which crowd power can take your person's photo and destroy their glory? Do you know also that witches and wizards can make an evil degree on a picture and they will be instantly manifest? Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord, my Father. I thank you, Lord. The Bible says, in the book of, of Psalms 21, verse 11, the Bible says, although they brought against you, they, they, their evil schemes will never succeed. Although the good news that God is going to, 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 to revert, hallelujah, God is going to remove your photo tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. The good news is that our God is a mighty God. And our God knows everything about our life. When we pray these prayers, when we come to him, when we call upon him, because these things, it, it is really to happen, but ignorance is very serious. Ignorant people who doesn't know that this is what happened, it is, it is, it is, it is difficult. It happened, it is happening. Pictures, they are used by witches. Pictures they are using for by wicked people. Uh, your names is used in an evil uh, in an evil altar. They are using they are calling your name in, a, in an evil altar. They are summoning you. It is true. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord, my Father. But the good news is that the power of God will retrieve all your photos from their database in the mighty name of Jesus. God is able to retrieve and delete every picture that the enemy is keeping from their database in the mighty name of Jesus. When the Bible is saying, although they, they brought against you, their evil schemes will never succeed. Psalms 21 verse 11. Although they brought against you, although they are planning evil against you, their schemes their evil schemes will never succeed. They will never succeed. That's why I've said that there was somebody, people who are following me on Facebook, they are always attacking me so much. They are attacking me. They pray against me. They are my, there is my photos. When I was ordained as a bishop, I put my photos there. And, and the other photos, what we were doing, they, they, they nearly killed me. They chanted. They prayed against me. They were so evil. I, I, some people could not even talk to me properly. Even some pastors, some pastors, I knew, I know some pastors. We were close with them. We respect each other. But the moment they heard that I'm the first woman in my, 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 in my city as a bishop, I was the first lady in, my, in a, my, my city to be a bishop. So they didn't say a word to me. Nobody even said thank you. Nobody even wanted to see me. I knew something is not right. Now they went to look for my photos and started chanting. I was praying and I saw what they were doing. And then I said, okay, now I see you are using my photo, but in the name of Jesus, you will never succeed. No weapon formed against me shall prosper in Jesus' name. I prayed and I covered my photos with the blood of Jesus. Wherever they are taking, it will not work for them. They will, it will, not, they will never succeed. So don't be afraid. Don't fear. 
Even if you, you have said, even if you don't use your photos, even if you don't appear anywhere, if they want, they will get in Jesus' name. I pray that God will recover you and will destroy their schemes in Jesus' name. I pray by the power in the blood of Jesus. Oh Lord, my Father, arise in the mighty name of Jesus. Any evil pro uh, programmed into your photos and, uh, and, uh, and, uh, and your properties in the witchcraft altar would, not manif would never manifest in Jesus' name, in the mighty name of Jesus. You have properties and your photos in witchcraft altar will no longer be used with any bewitchment in Jesus' name. In the mighty name of Jesus, yes, Lord, my Father, I pray every enchantment and divination targeted at, your, at you through photos and your property, I command them to go back to the center in the name of Jesus. Let them take, let, 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 your, let those plans, any evil, they are planning against your property, your, your photos and your property. Let it turn back to the sender and destroy themselves in Jesus' name. This is spiritual warfare. Any satanic altar, harboring your properties and photos in a witchcraft altar, I command them to catch fire and burn to ashes in the mighty name of Jesus. Any evil sh sh shrine, having your po pictures and, and your properties in a witchcraft, in a witchcraft altar, catch fire and burn to ashes in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Every evil priest using your photos and and, and properties in a, in a, in a, in a witch in a witchcraft altars, I command them to be destroyed and be rendered powerless in the mighty name of Jesus. Any evil priest, satanic priest, satanic pastors, satanic apostles. By the power and the blood of Jesus, using your photos and your, your properties in their custard, in their altars, let them catch fire and burn to ashes in the mighty name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, any power con consulting the triangle powers with your photos for evil, I command them to scatter, 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 scatter. You know, there are some wicked people, they take your photo to the triangle to consult. Triangle are three elements. They are they are they are they are, they are the water, the earth, and, and and the heavens. So now they go there and they start chanting. They speak to the heavens, the second heaven, they speak to the heart, and they speak to the water. Now they chant seriously. It is as it's a it's a bit is is they they take time, it's serious. They want to see something has happened to you. They work so hard. They are very faithful and they sacrifice. They give to their, their God. They give to their demon. They sacrifice. These things is not free. They don't do free. They have to sacrifice. The demon will tell them, if you want these things to happen to this person, bring their photos and a thousand dollars or five hundred dollars or three or even five thousand dollars. One lady was asked to give five thousand dollars to for, for and the photo of a woman. That, is, that the woman who had snatched the, uh, uh, her husband. The woman paid money and took the photo there. But nothing happened. Yeah? Nothing happened. So, when you pray those prayers, it will not happen. It will not happen. You are protected by the blood of Jesus. Your photo is being protected. Your, pro your property is being pro. I'm talking to those people who are not moving forward, who are not doing anything. They are not succeeding. They are being attacked throughout. There are so many people like that. So I'm praying, if you succeed, yes, that's fine. But there are some people who are still struggling so hard and they don't know why. They have been praying all the prayers, but they don't know what is going on. Some, some of you... You, you, have, you have property, you have so much, but you don't have, you don't see anything. You have, you have, you have, your pocket is with the hole. You can't hold anything. I am praying for you. That is the type of people I'm talking to in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, we are protected by the blood of Jesus. We are delivered by the blood of Jesus. But there are some areas you need the deliverance by Jesus himself. Because the means of Jesus was, was, was focused are on more deliverance than, than any other, uh, other subject. Yes, thank you, Jesus. Any evil arrows targeted at your photos, I command them to backfire in the mighty name of Jesus. I command your image to become untouchable horse of fire in Jesus' name. Any power using your photos against you 
be disgraced and be learned that the powerless in Jesus' name. I put you in the inner block of the fire of God, of God of Elijah, in the mighty name of Jesus. I put you in the inner block of the blood of Jesus Christ. I put you in the inner block of Jesus Christ in the mighty name of Jesus. Every dark image, every dark Im imagination, imagination against your existing, be nullified by the by the by the power in the blood of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh Lord, my God, I thank you, Father. Every spirit of witchcraft threatening your existence by using your image, I bear you, I bear your power, and I destroy you, I bind you, and I lend you powerless in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for you in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord, my Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, I thank you, Father God. Rabba shara ba kuriya ndara rabba shantoro rabba kuriya reko shara rabba kuriya baba ba shantoro rabba kuraba rabba baba shantoro rabba kura baba ba shara rabba kuriya reko shara rabba kura baba ba reba shantara rabba kura baba ba sala rabba kuriya ba robo baba shantere rabba kura ba Lord my Father my God in the name of Jesus I pray for somebody that a pictures has been taken and she was wondering she has been thinking so much. What happened to your pictures? Your picture was taken to the witch, to the witch to, to destroy you, to, to, to make sure that nothing is working for you. And they, were, they wanted to kill you, but by the grace of God, by the power and the blood of Jesus, it is good that you came to, for prayer this tonight and God has removed your, your, your photos your, in their custard, in their altars, so their photos become useless. It will not work for them. It will not succeed in Jesus' name. Don't worry about your photo anymore. Just give God thanks and appreciate that you hear this prayer as I'm praying for you in Jesus' name. Any covenant or occult gathering using your image to trouble you, I command them to catch fire and burn to ashes in Jesus' name. Lord God, you are God, God. God, our God, God is your glory. God is your glory. God is your father. God loves you. God is concerned about you. God he will protect you. He will not let you in the hands of the enemies. In the mighty name of Jesus. Any power be holding your image in any crystal ball. Be blind in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every spiritual, every spiritual, Every spiritual scan, radars, spiritual mirror, spiritual tape, spiritual camera, spiritual satellites, and all spiritual property that Satan is set against you to monitor you. I command them to catch fire and be destroyed in Jesus' name. I break them into pieces. Anything the enemy is using to drag you, any power of darkness using using any method to drag you, I command them to catch fire and burn to ashes in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, you 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 are a child of God and a member of the family of Jesus Christ. Whoever touches you touches the apple of God's eye. No weapon formed against you shall shall prosper by any means. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, the Bible says, any tongue that shall rest against you in judgment shall be condemned and, and destroyed completely in the mighty name of Jesus. I want you to read Psalms. Psalms, Psalms 17, before you go to sleep, read Psalm 17 for yourself. Yesterday, a lady, my dear daughter, she was attacked. One of my, she's my, I love her so much. And then she was attacked so much. I prayed for her. I told her what to, what is going to happen. And then she called me immediately. She said, Mama Christine, please pray. I said, no, I'm not going to pray for you any prayer because I've told you, relax, you will be fine, you will be healed. And then and then she went, she, she went to sleep. Today she called me very happy. She told me after I prayed for her, she vomited so much. And then she was relieved. She's free from those demons that was attacking her. Another person had been sick. And after the prayer, I prayed for her. And then I saw that a picture was kneeled on the tree. And I, I prayed for her. That picture was removed. The woman was healed in, in, instantly. Therefore, I pray by the power in the blood of Jesus, no weapon formed against you shall prosper in Jesus' name, in the mighty name of Jesus. 
I prophesy upon your life anything that belongs to you or the presenting you on a, on, a, on a witchcraft altar shall be destroyed in the name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus, it shall be well with you. You will fulfill your destiny. You will not die and celebrated. You will not die and fulfilled. The power of darkness will not divide you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' name, I cover you with the blood of Jesus. I throw a war fire around you in Jesus' name. No one will be attacked because of this prayer. Counterattack demon, you will not attack anyone. I bleed you in the blood of Jesus. I suck you in the blood of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, my God and my Father, I thank you. I bless you. I give you all the glory and honor. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. Thank you, Father. Much God bless you. This is your host. Bishop Prophetess Dr. Christine Isidi saying bye-bye, bye-bye. See you tomorrow night at the same time. I will, as we continue doing this 40 days, uh, taking the, the Holy Communion, and after this we'll go back to our normal uh, uh, time, our normal services, and then we, will plan, we are planning to have Zoom, we have prayer line. We are going to pray serious prayer because what is ahead of us is serious. It is only prayer that can help us in Jesus' name. Thank you very much. Also remember, this month is a month, is my, is my month of my, my birthday month. I did not even remember what, what that this, the end of the 40 days will be 20th of May. I didn't know. When I, I, when, when, I didn't know at all. When I was looking when it is going to be, to, to be end, that will be 20th and 20th will be my birthday. So you, you, if you want to celebrate with me, you want to send some gift, you want to appreciate what God is doing to me, I will, I will thank God and I pray thank you. Thank you very much. So I might talk tomorrow more about that. God will help you in Jesus' name. Thank you very much. God bless you. Have a wonderful time, people of God. I love you. I love you so much. And there's nothing I can do about it. You know I love you. I love you. <laughs> I love you so much. Thank you very much. Have a wonderful time. Bye. <laughs> thank you. Bye. I see you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sweetheart.